Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Let's start! Stage 2, the Hacha Springs. Right now with 2-1 between a rock and potentially a hard place. Uh, the rocks in this game are probably the only thing... I should say the only real complaint that I have with this game. You'll see why when I get to them. At least when it comes to moving them downwards, anyway. Alright, so we're looking for a wise lobster named Old Man Lobber. Might be tough with all these rocks around. Think we need uh, backup to move them? We could call Starly. No, Mo! No! No connection! Bad. Okay, these rocks right here, like, they, they move around relatively easy, as you can tell there. You just push them. Wait, what's up here? Oh, it's a Starly only course. She has a move where she can slide underneath. Uh, things while spinning. Oh, I can actually get that one. That's interesting. <laughs> I can't get the other ones though. But uh, she can actually move freely underneath one square areas and break break through stuff. She can also wall kick and stuff like that. Uh, I'll I will go over that a little bit more later, but not right now. I'm gonna go over these blasted rocks. Okay, you gotta kind of push them forward like so, and as you can tell, uh, but. But as you can see, when you get to the bottom, I mean, when they hit the bottom of the screen, they immediately stop moving, and even when there's nothing in the way. And that's that's really weird, and it's really cumbersome at places that I, that you have to move uh, rocks downwards. Anyway, um, you can also use them to kill enemies, like that fishy there. And uh, there's another Starly-only area. See, like, I wouldn't even be able to get this one with Starfy because th those blocks are in my way. But, uh, yeah, that, that's sort of the idea of uh, Starly, is that she she makes stuff quite a bit easier, and you got a shield. Yeah, I know they got... <laughs> yeah, I know they have that, I'm just kind of messing around here. And, uh, th oh, those enemies, I forgot to, to mention their names, they're known as FWIP. F-W-I-P. And anyway, let's see what's up here. Oh, yep, Starly wall kick segment, so I can get some of these pearls as uh, Starfy. But, uh, yeah, I guess most of uh, Starly's areas are like bonuses of sorts. Oh, geez, it's gonna be <clears throat> kind of tricky to get it off the wall, but okay, that worked out. And you can also combo kill enemies to get pearls with the rock, just as you could. Get down there! Oh, wait, actually, I don't need the rock here, do I? Ah, poopers! <laughs> Why did I take the rock with me when I don't need it? It's this rock that I need. Um, is this another Starly area? Yep, another Starly area. And there's a bunch of Starly areas like this throughout the whole game. And, uh, uh, because of the lack of connection, I won't necessarily be able to show you them in their entirety, but you'll you'll know how to do them once you uh, see how Starly's controlled later on. But anyway, I'm going to push this down on the ground. By the way, in case you didn't realize, yep, you can't get through that without the assistance of the boulder, so let's- Oh, come on! Now I'm gonna have issues getting it down- There we go. <laughs> no, stop that! Boulders! Worst thing in this game. <laughs> Alright, moving on. Hey, Mo, what's up? Uh-oh. Oh, no! Oh, no! It can't be anything, anything but him. No! Rocks! Fire! Explosions! Lava! What was that? A giant turtle? Why do all the critters down here have to grow so huge? I bet that thing's been dropping all these boulders. We gotta get moving and find old man Lobber. Oh, I guess they didn't mention the name of him just yet, but they, they, they make him seem like he's a very, very tough, difficult thing. <laughs> oh, Stuffy. Welcome, my pointy friend. How goes your aquatic adventure? Um, no thanks. It's it's doing well, but I definitely do not want to go back to the map because that's counterproductive at this point. <laughs> so forward we go. Oh no, more boulders. Oh, you can't get through these little enemies here known as no-go without those rocks. So, -ah, it's time to play some golf. Well, it's more like pool or something because I'm kind of killing them off in a combo, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, see what I mean about them moving down to the bottom of the screen? Oh, shoot! Get! Get! Over! Mm. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could attest to it with me just being inexperienced with using them. But still, let's... let's I don't think they should be this cumbersome to use. <laughs> I mean, chances are they aren't going to 
like prevent you from completing the game because they, they aren't unbearably difficult to get used to like I, I was just simply off on my shot there so that's kind of why I was that far away from it but yeah <laughs> but it's the thing of that they're very very awkward is what I'm saying so I, I personally don't like the boulders myself um, oh I can't get up there without can I get up there Mm, maybe. Mm. No. Maybe I'll have to wait until I get an upgrade to my ability. <laughs> In case you can't tell, I'm trying to get a running start from the left. Because you, you can cut, sort of build momentum that way. Oh, well, I guess not. Well, maybe. Hold on. Am I actually supposed to use that boulder and I was just trying to do something that I wasn't supposed to do? That is always a possibility. Yeah, that's what I was doing. <laughs> I must be thinking of a later level that you um, uh, have to have a, um, an upgrade to your jump to get up to it. Oh yeah, it's not this one, it's a later one. Never mind what I was saying before. Yeah, I was just being stupid there. <laughs> you gotta push that rock off the ledge and swim down super fast before you lose it. What a pain. Then you can use it to smash the path. But if it disappears, go back through the door here. If anything goes wrong, just leave and come back through a door. He's hinting that you can reset the uh, area. So you gotta push the boulder through here because it's not gonna fit through this path up ahead. See, there's just not enough room to do that. So what we're gonna, I'm gonna do here is just gently push it off the edge and go, 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 go. Oh, maybe I should be using the current to speed myself up here. Is that, that's what it's there for, after all. Take your turns tight and make sure you get to the bottom before that rock. There we go. It's not that hard to do. You just gotta get there. Oh, and there's a door up there. Uh, and there's a door here. I'll go through this one first. Oh, shoot! I missed it. <laughs> The current goes all the way through there, in, including over the door, so you gotta time the X button press just as you move over the door. Um, ah, no! <laughs> Maybe I should just be mashing the X button as I go over it, rather than just trying to time the single button press. <laughs> Alright... There we go, and mashing it works. The power of quick fingers works. And there's the end of the level, but you can't actually get there right now so let's read the brochure we just found that's i wonder how it stayed dry i mean paper is pretty waterlogged then again there's waterproof paper anyway <laughs> welcome to hacha springs please explore our wonderful oasis take a walk on the beach or go for a dip in the hot springs uh, what I uh, <laughs> be sure to avoid the maniacal giant turtle on the loose. Enjoy your stay. Kind of sounds like the Isle of Delfino brochure. Welcome to the Isle of Delfino. <laughs> Come relax, enjoy. Maybe yeah, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, wait, wait. Do I need to push that back down there? I think that those no goes might still be gone. Come to think of it, I just push it down there just in case. Uh, are they still gone? Yeah, they're still gone. Handy! Okay. So that rock can go into the hole for all I care. <laughs> It'll respawn anyway, as soon as we leave the area. That's what uh, Mo is hinting at above about resetting rooms. Stop! If you see any pearls that you can't go get to, go ahead and call Starly. But don't get... Don't you get lazy on me. Make sure you're still practicing your dash and your turbo swim. Those moves of yours will help you get in some secret nooks. Maybe some crannies, too. <laughs> And wait, what? Are they really Is he going over this? Like they kind of ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> um, this is something that I didn't really explain very. I mean, I didn't explain for uh, like earlier on in the walkthrough. Is that when you're running, your jump height is much much higher than if you were standing still. Like, see that? So you're only jumping, or at least I'm only jumping that high. Now watch what happens when I'm running. <laughs> Uh, much much higher so if you want to have some decent height to your jump you're gonna have to want to practice um, sort of doing like little dashes to the left and to the right like something like that like ro like rolling starts I guess you could say on the ground with your feet or something like that like, I guess that's the best way I can explain it to you just to ensure that you're jumping when you're running like this anyway end of the level right here <laughs> I wonder if I should do another level. It'll probably stretch the part to like 20 minutes because I'm at 
10 minutes or so now, but eh, you probably won't mind that. So let's go over to 2-2, two -two, the wise old lobster. Hmm, that guy certainly looks familiar. Hmm, very, very familiar. By the way, these uh, Pokeballs in the tree, at least they look like Pokeballs. I know there's some kind of berry or nuts, but they look like Pokeballs with, the, with their coloration. Uh, they just contain stuff inside. How much stuff there is depends on the pearl it seems to be. And by the way, these water spouts push you upwards, obviously. Lately I've been trying not to uh, state the obvious too much in my videos, I guess you could say. Yeah, Globerto, what do you have to say about me not stating the obvious? So good to see you here, my friend. Explored and uncharted at any art uncharted areas lately? No, I won't be able to explore any uncharted areas because I'll be going back to the map, which is, again, counterproductive. Arr. Anyway, hey, how's it going? Hey, this is Old Man Lobber. Cassidy, about time you young ones showed up. I'm freezing my lobster tail off here. Old Man Lobber, pleased to meet ya. Wait, wait a sec. How did you know we were coming? I don't know if that's why he's lucky or just plain spooky. We're looking for a shard like this one here. Ya seen any? Sir, what shard? I can't see a thing when my bath water gets cold. My eyes go too. Well, why don't you just get out of that cold water? Problem solved. You're the wise man. Sheesh. It's, Mo's got a point there. D don't you clackety talk me. It's stuck. There's orders. I have to soak in spring water. You need to learn a lesson, Clam. If you want my help, you have to do Old Man Lobber a favor. Below where you're standing, there's a door. Go in it and keep heading on for a bit. See if you can turn the heat back on so we can get the hot back in Hutcher Springs, you hear? Fine, we'll get that hot water back on. Or at least start if you will. I might like to soak myself. So, yeah, the water is very chilly as you can see here, and you know, I don't really get this, unless it's maybe because I don't know other Starfy games, but I'm pretty sure Starfy and Mo know Old Man Lobber because Old Man Lobber has been in other Starfy games, which is why I've put him on the side panel since the start, and yet they're acting like they've never met him before. I don't know, maybe they got really bad memory. <laughs> But anyway, I, I, as I said, it might just be because I haven't played other Starfy games, and maybe he doesn't uh, crisscross with Starfy's paths in other Starfy games, but something tells me he does, because he's a pretty main character. Anyway, there's a treasure chest around here, there are pearls up there, and yeah, there's gonna be a rock somewhere around here. Wait, where is the rock? Shouldn't I have a rock by now? Uh, no, that was where I came from. Maybe I have to bring the rock back up to get those prizes? I, I thought the rock came a little bit sooner than that. Mm, nope, there's the rock. I guess I should... Oh, shielded me, huh? Tricky, tricky, fishy. Yeah, the enemies get more and more tricky as you go along through the game. Uh, they start out ridiculously easy, and then they get to the point where enemies feel more like mini-bosses. Like, a lot of enemies feel like mini-bosses. And I don't really think I have to get the stuff in here. I'm just... Oh, I do have to go in here. Woo! I got a page from Old Man Lover's Diary! And it in on the waterproof paper. Oh boy, my entire body aches. I can't even think straight. Some wise old lobster I am. I came here to soothe my body, but the water has gone cold. I reckon that the hot spring snapper must be up to something. Ah, so that's the name of that turtle. The snapper turtle. Well, it's a hot spring snapper. And let's break our way in. What? 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 Boulders! Why are you such a pain? <laughs> it was right up against them, and you see me hitting it into the no goals. <sighs> Alright, boulders. Get. Stop getting stopped by the bottom of the screen. Why do you do that? <laughs> Stop it! Stop getting stuck by my life bar! The life bar is in the foreground! <laughs> and do I really need that boulder? Oh, I don't need it anymore. Ah, I was wasting my time! Arr, it makes me even more furious! Um, over here is a pathway back up, uh, which we'll be able to use later, or if we need to reset the place, because we gotta get this boulder 
through an obstacle course of pits, like pits with currents in them. Like, uh, see this? If the boulder goes in there, you won't be able to get the boulder back out. So, I gotta look ahead and... <laughs> Why? Down there. Now, you pile of rock. Actually, you're just one rock, but still. No, no, not in here. Gotta move. This way. Well, not this way. Other way. There's Mo. I'll be back for you, Mo. And there's the uh, little booster rocket thingy to get back up there. I don't know their official name offhand. This is just such a pain. <laughs> and this particular path is, I think, the, pl the way that we need to go. Well, maybe not. Maybe that's for the way back. I'm at the bottom now. This might be where we need to go. Okay, yeah, this is it. Okay, now what I'm going to do here, because I cleared the way and those no goals don't come back, I am going to explore this place fully! Woo! Yeah, it takes us all the way back up to the top. So, now that we stopped boulder wrangling... <laughs> it's just so ridiculous to try controlling those things. Uh, where was Mo again? Mo was... Not there. Where was Mo? I know he was on the left side, obviously. Uh, there you are. You're gonna tell me to call Starly again? You can use your star spin to toss the boulder around. You could also turbo spin to push him around. Pretty sure you figured that out already, though. Yep, I did. Alberto, do you have anything good to say this time? You have the worst dialogue of all the characters. Staffy, so good to see you. you same thing. Same thing. <laughs> I'm out of here. Ah. Alright. Alberto isn't that major of a character, though he, he kind of helps you around the map and whatnot. He just doesn't seem to have much of a place in the game's storyline. Anyway, door. Officially. Yeah, no! No! <laughs> Stop it! They don't even go that far down, even when it, when it doesn't touch the screen. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot! Oh! <laughs> and now I gotta reset the boulder. <laughs> Down there and don't go in the pit this time. No! No bad stone of time wasting gameplay. Da! Oh no 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 go jump go I couldn't kick it out of there. Alright, maybe I should just like push it forward like from the side. And just like from the, from the water. No, that doesn't work. I got to do it you know, like that. So why did he? Why did Mo even tell me about that when I would I would have had to figure out this by now anyway to even progress because I had to push the boulders into the water jets in order to even get to this point. And I'll forget it. <laughs> Maybe you're just trying to remind me like what of what you can do at this point in case. Oh, oh, jeez. Please tell me I can. Shimmy this out of the way. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes you can roll them at the uh, points if you hit them at an angle from the ground. Stuffy, good to see you. You are a waste of time. <laughs> Alright, let's go back through here. And nope, no, not that way. Want. Ah. Hey there, Bunston. There's a quite an impressive geyser up ahead. The water shoots up from the surface. If we couldn't warm up that water, the man Labra's bath would be hot in no time. Prepare to team up for another monster transformation? Go beneath the geyser and shoot your flames up where they heat the water. That should do the trick. Okay, let's do so. Here we go. So all you have to do is aim upwards like this. You can also kill motos with your flame, but what can't you kill? with this fire breath of incredibly brokenness. They even hint that you can shoot up there by putting motos up there. But here's one thing that I gotta wonder here, is that you can heat up the water like this, but how does it constantly stay hot? Like, after this point, doesn't it just cool off again? I, I guess it doesn't, 
but that's some really hot water. Oh, jeez. Boiled clams. <laughs> Thanks to Monstar's red hot breath, the water is steaming. Now, back to Old Man Lobber. Please teleport me back up there. Thank you very much. And here we are. Uh, oh, my shell feels so much better. Thanks. I'm going to paint the town red tonight. You betcha. So, what was it? Oh, yeah. You want to know about those shards, eh? Let me see that there. Mm, up ahead, there's, there's a bunch of fellers that you'd have a, you should have a chat with. Honey fellers. I reckon that they can help you. Just set through that door right there. Oh, and you boys remember to keep an eye out for that hot spring snapper. Clackety. <laughs> he gets in the dialogue. <laughs> yup, that's him. You steer clear of him and you'll be safer than a guppy in a goldfish bowl. Oh, and you can't be heading out there without something for me. You go ahead and take this, son. And we got Lobber's logbook. And this is something that you activate on ye touch touchscreen. And it, it shows the rank of certain stuff. It, it's actually all rather self-descriptive, actually, as you can tell by the stuff. And it even tells you how long you've been playing, which is kind of neat. All right, let's go back to Mole, just in case of missing treasure. And... Woohoo! This is where you need your upgraded jump. You can't get that right now. But keep that in mind for later, as we're going to have to come back to this level. Woo! <laughs> I love that. Monster transformation! Destroy everything, including the new enemies. Those are known as cactots. And if there's an exclamation point, we must find the door. That is the source of Moe's sniffer. Um, actually, where? Oh, there it is. Uh, up we go. And point down. That should be good enough. In we go. And now... Hey, old man lobber. Oh, is that Starvy? Nice to see ya. Kinda. Come closer. Eyes aren't so good in here. Since you're here, let's do some training. Try lighting all the wood bundles to get some light in here. If you take too much time, the fires will burn out. Team up with that big-eared feller Bunsen. There's a lot of paths here, and you're gonna need a lot of light to find them all. Ready to give it a shot? Yes, I will. Good, that's the attitude. Remember, you better move quick if you want to do it in time. Alright, let's do this. I, I'm probably best off starting off on the uh, right side path here because it's the furthest away. So I'm gonna break my way through these boulders with the fire that looks like it's going backwards. Anything more there? No, there isn't. They give you a pretty decent amount of time to uh, light all the fire in this area, so you can mess around a little bit, but don't mess around too much. Uh, just, just in case, like just shoot everything you see in order and you should be good to go. Like do it level by level. Like there's nothing over here, so we can move on upwards. And there is a, a I think there's a split path coming up, yeah, over here. Oh wait, maybe, maybe not over here, maybe there isn't a split path in this particular light my fire, go ahead baby, oh never mind. <laughs> and do not fall, otherwise you pretty much will have to restart this whole thing over, because it'll take way, it'll take way too long to get back up here. Wait, what? What? Are you telling me that I took too long? Seriously? What? Where is, did I miss one? Where, which one? Didn't I light? What? Um. Okay, let's start from the bottom again. <laughs> hmm, I kind of regret doing a second level now because I'm coming up to uh, 25 minutes here. Wait, this was the last one that I that I started on fire, right? I mean, the, the first one I started on fire. Oh, you gotta make sure it's blazing like that. I guess maybe that was my issue. I I don't know. I'm pretty sure I've seen all the torches. Uh, it's going up, going up. I know there's nothing over there now, so I can quickly go over to the left side. One of them blew out. Well, don't know which one it is yet. Wait, did I ever light that one? What? I... I... This better not be an emulation error, otherwise I'll be ticked. Because I need to 100% this game, and I don't know any other emulation emu uh, emulators that can uh, emulate this game as accurately as this one. Oh, there we go. I don't know what I did wrong the first time. <laughs> That's the way to do it. <laughs> your skills are very promising, son. Now you got some training under your belt. You can... Hey, uh, yeah, I know you don't got a belt. It 
it's a saying, keep building up your strength and make this crusty old lobster proud. <laughs> and secret one has been added to the map. Voila. That'll be a level I'll cover later on after number four. And now I can move on ahead through this door. We're coming up to the end of the level now, actually. Woohoo! In fact, we're right here. <laughs> That's the place with the treasure chest that I couldn't uh, jump to at this moment in time, so we're going to have to do that a little bit later. See, there's one left. Just keep that in mind for later. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part.